So here at Exeter for the Halden Gold Cup, it's a grade two handicap chase. We've got Nightstar, Ryan Costello, Black Ascoli, Martin Leadham, Duchess, Lancelot, Paul Rhodes. They're the joint favourites. Cash Cow, Pontypool Racing, Force 10, Craig Beck with Coco Bell for John, Scarlet Perky, James Shea, Fiorentus Diamond, Paul Rhodes, and Monster Dominator for Jim Murray. And they're off. Gloomy skies, black clouds, rain continuing to pour down here at Exeter. And we've got very heavy ground, so it's going to be a real test of stamina on which horses can handle this bottomless pit that is Exeter Racecourse. As a couple of them just plough through the first fence, one of them was forced 10 at the rear of the field, didn't take it off at all. Uh, it's one way to get to the other side. They just ploughed straight through them as they pass the stands and what will be the winning post in a circuit's time. And the rain hasn't put off too many race goes today. As you can see, there's lots of people here for this feature race at Exeter. And in the lead, so far, we've got Scarlet Perky setting that early pace from Coco Bell in the bright blue silks. Racing on the inside of that one as they jump over the water ditch. And they wouldn't have needed to do much to fill that ditch with water for this race today as the rain still lashing down here at Exeter as they jump over that next fence and all of them navigated it safely. Force 10, it, well, it jumped that one instead of ploughing through it but didn't jump it particularly quickly at the rear of the field as they go over the next flight. Some solid jumping up front from Scarlet Perky in the all green there for James Shea. Uh, the trainer believes this one prefers quicker ground, so it'll be really interesting to see how it's faring on quite the opposite type of ground here today. So that one leads from Coco Bell in second place. That's John Morgan's horse, just tracking it in second. A good few lengths in front of Fiorentus Diamond for Paul Rhodes in third. Racing on the outside of that one, we've got Black Ascoli and uh, Night Star for two of my fellow commentators, Martin Liedem and Ryan Costello, respectively. So they've jumped five flights so far as we come towards the final 10 furlongs. All of the horses and jockey partnerships still intact as they climb uphill here at Exeter. Quite a steep hill as well before jumping the next flight. And still we have Scarlet, Perky, Coco Bell, Fiorentus, Diamond, the front three. But about eight to ten lengths uh, between first and third there. And Force 10 is not going at all on the ground today. Not jumping that well today. And I'd be amazed if that manages to win this race from the rear of the field for Craig Beckwith. Unseated the rider. Oh! I was going to say Craig Beck was unseated the rider on the f in the f uh, f in week one, but we almost lost two jockeys there from the front two. Scarlet Perky and Coco Bell didn't jump it particularly well at all, but they've managed to regain their composure and jump those much more effectively. Uh, but yes, Force 10 at the rear of the field, unseated the rider first time out and has done well to keep the partnership intact so far here at Exeter in week two. So into the final six furlongs they go. And a good jump there by Coco Bell allowed it to move up alongside Scarlet Perky. About a length only now to Fiorentus Diamond for Paul Rhodes in third, Black Ascoli in fourth. Making a move from the rear of the field is Jim Murray's Monster Dominator. Going to try and dominate this race as, it, as we go in towards the final furlong. Travelling smoothly there as is Cash Cow on the outside of it. But it's still Scarlet Perky in the old green up front for James Shea. About a length and a half to Coco Bell in second. And another length back to Fiorentus Diamond in third. But the race will quickly unfold as we come towards the final three and a half furlongs. And like I said, it'll unfold quickly. And as you can see... In a few strides, Fiorentus Diamond has managed to pick them all off and go into the lead. So it's Fiorentus Diamond leading for Paul Rhodes, trying to land a group two here. Jumps it pretty well and maintains an advantage over Scarlet Perky. Monster Dominator still travelling really powerfully. Slow jump at the front from Fiorentus Diamond and it's about to be swallowed whole, you imagine. And yes, Monster Dominator now leads as they go towards that next flight. One and a half furlongs left to travel. Monster Dominator in the lead for Jim Murray. Coco Bell, John Morgan trying to chase it down and looks the danger on the inside as they come towards the last flight good jump from both but coco bell has the advantage from monster dominator if you're in this diamond nothing more to offer back in third and as they come to the line coco bell passes it in the lead and wins the sporting bet halden gold cup handicap chase this group two handicap chase at exeter in the pouring rain it's won by coco bell for john morgan Wins it by a good length there. 8 to 1 winner. Monster Dominator in second. Fiorentus Diamond picks up the third place money for Paul Rhodes in third. And it was quite a distance back there. A good seven and a quarter lengths back to Scarlet Perky in fourth. Duchess Lancelot completes the prize money. Second place prize money, uh, the second round of prize money there for Paul Rhodes with a fifth place.